In this video, Arduino is programmed as a web server, controlling output devices. The Arduino is connected to the Internet using an Ethernet shield. In this project, an Ethernet shield is connected to an Arduino Uno, and the Arduino is programmed as a DHCP server. DHCP, which stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, automatically assigns IP address, default gateways, and other network parameters to client devices. Once the Ethernet shield establishes a connection with the local area network provided by the router, and an IP address has been generated, this IP address can then be used to access a web page on the browser, which has an HTML interface used to control some output devices connected with the Arduino. The web page interface has three clickable buttons to control three LEDs connected with the Arduino. There is also a slight control here which is used to set the tone frequency of an active buzzer connected to the Arduino. The main specs of the Arduino Ethernet Shield are it has uh, Ethernet controller W5100 with internal 16 kilobytes buffer. Connection speed can go up to 100 megabits per second, and it connects to the Arduino using SPI interface. The implemented circuit is shown here. The buzzer is connected to digital pin 3, and the three LEDs blue, green, and red are connected to pins 5, 6, and 7, respectively. Pins 10 to 13 are used to connect the shield with the Arduino using SPI connection, and thus cannot be used as I.O. pins. Before we start writing the C++ code on the Arduino IDE, we need to design our web page using HTML. I highly recommend using Microsoft Visual Studio Code, which is a text editor for writing HTML code. Visual Studio Code also has a live web server that displays your web page in real time. Let's have a closer look at the HTML code. Within the head tags, we have the title and we have the style. The style is the CSS part of the HTML code. The style determines the format of the web page in terms of background color, fonts used, and so on. Within the body tags, we have the H1, H2, and H3 headers. The H1 header gives us the level 1 uh, header, which is this one here. And H2 gives us the second level header, which is this one here. Within the H3 tags, we have form tags. The form tags enable the web page to communicate with the server using the get method. And within each form tag, we have input tags that send some parameters to the server when the form is closed. Let's have a quick look at the Arduino sketch. The sketch was taken from a book called uh, Exploring Arduino by Jeremy Blum. Some modifications was applied to the program. We need to include these libraries in the sketch, one for the Ethernet and the other for the SPI. This statement gives a unique MAC address to the Arduino within the network environment. Within the setup function, this code is used to connect the Arduino with the router using a DHCP, and once the connection is established, a local IP address is generated. Within the loop function, the server continuously listens to any client requests, and once there is a client request, then the HTTP communication begins between the server and the client. And now for a quick demo. In a future video, the Arduino will be programmed as a weather station server. 
displaying temperature, humidity, and pressure readings. Thank you for watching.